have another gorgeous summer day on the way, guys, and it's already off to a wonderful start here in South Burlington. This is the camera on top of the TV station looking towards the Green Mountains. It is currently 63 degrees at the airport in South Burlington. Dew point at 57, so it feels very nice out there. As I mentioned, the Adirondacks again off to a chilly start. 44 in Saranac Lake. Meanwhile, 50s in the Northeast Kingdom. A couple other spots in the 60s like Lebanon and Bennington. Also a little bit of fog out there this morning. Mainly in the eastern half of our area, parts of the Northeast Kingdom, Montpelier, Connecticut River Valley, also starting to see visibilities drop in Saranac Lake. These are all the normal spots for this kind of stuff and it should be burning off within the next couple of hours. So storm tracker, we're looking good. Note the clouds off to the south that is associated with this messy system that's spreading a lot of rain across the mid Atlantic, but you can kind of see where it's moving here. You see how it's kind of drifting off to the north and to the east. So this is going to end up mostly missing us. I am a little more concerned about this batch of showers and storms over the Michigan Peninsula because this will be paying us a visit tomorrow. But as I mentioned, it'll take a while to get here. That's when the storm threat really increases. So we have another pleasant day ahead of us for the near term. And then after that system goes through, a cooler pattern settles in. It'll actually be a little bit below normal, which honestly we haven't seen too much of this summer so far. So the next 12 hours, we're looking good. Lots of sun early. I think we find more clouds in the afternoon. Overall, a cloudier day than yesterday was, but still pretty decent if you plan to go outside. Note the south wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour, a little bit stronger than yesterday. So if you're hitting Lake Champlain, keep that in mind. We do have waves of 1 to 3 feet expected. The UV index very high. Lake level 94.62 feet. Water temperature still 76 degrees though. So future cast, this is what it looks like this afternoon. Note the terrain induced showers that are popping up. We could see one or two of these drifting towards the valley, but I think most of us will end up dry. Now tomorrow morning, keep an eye on what happens in northern New York. This is the line of broken storms that we're going to have to watch as it comes across northern New York by the afternoon and then passes through Vermont as we go through the evening. A couple of these storms could be on the stronger side, and I think we'll have another chance for storms as we go into Tuesday as well, although the risk is a little bit lower by then. As I mentioned, the best chance for severe weather is going to be northern New York and the Champlain Valley, but note it's a one out of five risk, so it's very low. Just be aware some of those storms could get a little bit gusty. This is also the last day of 80 degree weather. Check out the temperature trend as we go into next week. A lot of 70s down to 76 right behind the cold front. That's why I say it's going to feel kind of like fall around here because we're just kind of getting into this different pattern regime. Regime. By the way, Wednesday looks like an absolutely perfect day. We get all the storms out of here, lots of sun, and then some more showers possible on Thursday. It doesn't look like a washout. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Luckily, it looks like we dry out in time for next Friday.